Hi guys, this is Hilda back again with more tips on how to make money online in Kenya. So today we're going to talk about investing in the Kenya stock market. Investing in the Kenya stock market. So I was just chatting with a friend and we were talking about how to create passive income and interesting enough i didn't know that she trades in the nairobi stock exchange this so i didn't know that she trades in the nairobi securities exchange and she told me that it's one of the ways to build um, passive income in kenya passive income is basically that income you earn gradually or residual income which you earn every day without having to repeat the initial uh, work so i was really interested in knowing like so now that i am a total beginner how is it that i can get started in the nairobi security exchange so this video is basically uh, me reporting what I learned because before my conversation with her, I was totally, I was totally new to the all of this topic about uh, the Kenya stock market. I was totally new to this. I've never like researched about it or really, uh, I mean, know anything or tried anything in it. But after just a, the conversation with her. I think I have I learned several tips, which is why I'm doing this video to share with you some of the tips I learned from her about trading stocks or uh, buying and selling stock in the Nairobi Security Exchange. And this is really totally from a beginner point of view or a recommendations that she gave me on where to get started. So... One of the tips she offered me or one of the directions she pointed me to get started towards is checking out Janice Capital. This company, Janice Capital, and this is a, a company that is well known. Let's read about. It's well known for uh, helping people to make profit in trading stock, okay, or trading in the Nairobi exchange market and she told me the advantage of this app is that um, or this company is that they offer classes number one number two they have free training guides you can learn uh, how to start in the kenya market exchange but the biggest the biggest takeaway was this their jacuzzi app okay so they have just recently created this app the jacuzzi app and this is an app for Kenyans, okay? This Jikuze app. This is an app for Kenyans, and it is an app that can help you trade in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. So this app is available for both Android and the iOS. And then it is it can help you do several things. You can open accounts to trade with. You can do deposit and withdraw of funds. You can trade securities in the Nairobi stock exchange market or you can do savings in the unit trust with this app or you just can do a portfolio review research. That is, you can learn. You can learn through this app or you just can do live chat with people who are doing what you're doing too. So we're going to visit this app so that I show you. So she told me that one of the best way to get started in learning more about Kenya or investing in the Kenya stock market is starting out on this app. Okay. And the good thing about starting out on this app, I've already told you, is that it has so many things you can do. All these which I was mentioning here. So apart from buying the securities, you can save in the unit trust. You can learn. They have free courses. They have guides on how to get started. Okay, so you just go to Google Play or uh, Apple Store and then you get the Jacuzzi app. Okay, once you get the app now, they will you will get started with it. Okay, so I learned that 
one way you can start with trading in a stock is by using apps like this, the Jacuzzi app. And if you want alternatives, alternatives to this app, okay? If you want alternatives to this app, you can look at FX Pesa. Let's look at that. You can look at FX Pesa. FX Pesa, this. You can look at an alternative like this, FX Pesa. You can look at Pepper Stone. You can look at another option like Pepper. Pepper Stone. Pepper Stone. Okay, Pepper Stone. This Pepper Stone is both for stock trading and forex trading. Or you can look at um, SBG Securities. S B G Securities. SBG Securities. So all of these are apps where you can uh, you can uh, get started with in uh, stock market in Kenya. Okay. So that was one of the strategy that she told me, which is very beginner friendly. So you get an app which which will both you both teach you and also give you an opportunity to trade in stock. Examples like the Jikuze, like FX Pesa, like the um, Pepper Stone, or like the SBG Security. So any of these apps will get you started in learning more about stock market exchange or simply getting started with the buying or the selling or the saving into the stock market okay so that's one strategy she told me about which you can get started as a beginner alternatively if you don't want to use the apps maybe you're someone who doesn't trust apps if you don't want to use the apps which all of these you can find in the google play store or in the apple store if you use an iphone if you don't really trust the app strategy what you can do is find what we call what is called stock brokers okay you can go look for a stock broker or if you know someone who trades in stock like the way i know her you get a recommendation of a stock broker so this stock broker will just monitor the market for you and when they see something you can buy or something you can profit from they will tell you you just invest the cash okay so here, you're not the one doing the market research. You're not the one doing the heavy lifting. They will do all the heavy lifting for you. Yours will just to provide the capital or invest the capital. Okay? So that's just, you can work with a stockbroker. Just like the same way, if you're looking for a house, you find a house broker who finds the house for you. And then you just go check the house. If you love it, move in. So you're not doing all the old work of looking for the house. That's what a broker does. Alternatively, you can use what is called stock agents. These are mostly companies, stock agents. Stock agents, these are mostly companies who will, who, who, who do the work of, um, of, uh, they're mostly, okay, let's look like stock agents in Kenya. Stock agents in Kenya. So this Nairobi stock exchange stock brokers, you can look at this, 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 this. Okay, all these are people that can do uh, the trading for you. They, this works more like a stock broker, but these ones are more. I mean, this is just one on the same thing. Only that one is the one person, the other is a company doing all the work. So. It's up to you. So those are the three strategies really you can use. You can start off with the apps or you can find stock brokers or stock agents. Then you get started. So those I think we've talked about. And guys, remember, I said I've not really ventured into stock market. Uh, I'm just sharing the tips I learned from this friend of mine who does it. And I've told you that she taught me three options I can get started with. You can either use the app, Jikuze Hub by 
jeans capital or the FX app, or I can just check out stock agents or stock brokers who can help me get started in that journey. But remember, one of the things I would really wish to sensitize you to do is research, research, learn, learn, learn. Don't just go start on this opportunity blindly. Take your time to learn more. Take your time to subscribe to YouTube channel where they talk about stock market. Take your time to read books. Take your time. Take your time to do research before you get you before you invest your money because I wouldn't wish you go lose your money then come back here to shower all kinds of abuses on me. No, take your time to do your research because Anyway, that's what uh, you want to do for any online business. Don't just go get a recommendation and then just run into it. Unless someone is offering you proof, uh, don't. Take your time to do the research. Take your time to read more about that opportunity. Because at the end of the day, nothing is overnight success. You have to put consistency and effort to it. So... That's what we are talking about. Learn, 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 and learn. Another thing is discover alternatives. You know, uh, investing in the Kenya stock market is not the only way of making passive income. Like I'm a blogger and I make passive income, okay? Several are the times I have done videos like how I make, how I make, I mean, 5,000 daily from my blog. Just passive income for doing nothing, okay? So if you really want to know more about Starting a blogging side hustle as your way of making passive income. Uh, I encourage you to check out the description of every video in this channel. The description of every video. For instance, let me show you this. So, in the description of every video, if you look at this show more, we will find this a link to my free blogging course a link to my free blogging course where i show you how you can get started with a blog and how i make money with a blog or in the first comment the first comment you can check out uh, i also share that link there so there are so many alternatives of ways to make passive income so just do your research that's the base point at the end of the day so guys uh, I think we've come to the end of this and I hope that you have got some tips here and there. And before I go, I want to remind you to subscribe. Subscribe if you have not. Turn on that notification and engage with these videos. That is, you can like them, you can share them, you can leave a comment, ask me any question, I suggest a video you'd wish to me, me to do in the comment section. And... That's it. Until next time, guys. I wish you well. Uh, stay safe. And until next time, bye-bye for now.